The elderly population has surged in size, however, services and manpower that care for the elderly are quite lacking. To find a solution, a student team from St. Joseph's College has devised their product, Intelligent Slippers, to combat this issue. The problem of aging population is getting really serious nowadays, and we have noticed that elderly are often left at home alone by their children and nobody is taking care of them. And sometimes um, accidents uh, may happen to the elderly. For example, um, they may fall and sometimes uh, they do not know what to do to seek for help. If we as young people fall down, maybe we'll get a bruise or maybe not at all, we can just get back up. But with osteoporosis, maybe the elderly, they would fall down and injure themselves. Maybe they would break their bones. This would lead to a chain effect. They wouldn't be able to help themselves get up or seek for more help, which may lead to very serious consequences. So I think it is our responsibility to try to find a way to solve this problem. And we think that our zippers can help this. Our um, slipper consists of two main parts. One is the slipper itself. It has two kinds of signal receiver inside of it. One will measure the velocity of the slipper and one will measure the orientation. When there's a sudden increase in the velocity or a wear orientation, it will send a signal to the second part of our project, central processing unit. And this central processing unit would then calculate if it's possible that the elderly may have fallen and will contact needed um, family members or even the police and ambulance if required. Um, I think our products uh, should be reaching around 20 to 25 percent of the elderly in around four to five years. That's our expected uh, market share capturing because uh, in Hong Kong there are about uh, 1.2 million elderly and around 300,000 of them might need help. I would assume that if half of the middle income family elderly would choose our products, that would be around 25% of the whole Hong Kong elderly population. Even though elderly are still less accepting to technology than young people, it is we can still see that the trend is that more and more elderly people are more accepting and even actively using and enjoying technology. After uh, we have successfully reached a stable financial situation, we would start to expand into firstly the mainland China market and then to the Asia market and then maybe finally to the international market. According to some uh, statistics, there are approximately uh, 200 million cases of serious falling and which resulted in around uh, 500,000 deaths per year all around the world. So we really want to save as many lives as we possibly could so that we need to introduce our products to the international market as soon as we have sufficient funds to do so. I think that this competition uh, helps me a lot for my future career planning because I get know of the, how the business works and how hard is it to work with your teammates. This time we have five person and we all have to um, do our own job in order for us to complete the project in time. So I think it really helped us to bond together and to know how to communicate well with each other and ensure that all of us has done our part. We are really uh, concerned about the society. So why can't we use our skills, which we have learned in the school, to put it into practice and help the world? It could potentially save millions of lives. So uh, that is why we really want to join competitions that gives us the opportunity to practice what we have learned in the school to use it to the world.